In the last video, we looked at the equation of a circle. In this video, we're going to work through a range of different questions involving circles. As I said in the last video, if in doubt, sketch it out. We certainly won't do all of the possible questions that might come up, but hopefully you'll build the skills required to do them by working through these ones. These ones are relatively straightforward in comparison to the exam style ones, but it's a good place to start. So in question 7, we're told the point A2, 3 lies on the circle C. The centre of the circle has coordinates 8, 1. We need to find an equation for the circle. We can write the equation of a circle in the form x minus a, all squared, plus y minus b, all squared, is equal to r squared. This gives us a circle with a centre a, comma b, and a radius of r units. This is what we looked at in the last video. Now, with this one, you don't have to sketch it, but it might help you out. All I'm going to do is draw this up. And we're going to have now the centre, and we've got the centre, that will be 8, 1. And then I'm going to have some point just here, and that is going to be the point A, 2, 3. When I draw a sketch, it doesn't have to be massively accurate, it just gives me some idea of what's going on. So with this one, that would be the radius, and we can start writing out the equation of this circle. All I'm going to do is insert the coordinates of the centre so we'll have x minus 8, all squared, plus y minus 1, all squared, is equal to the radius squared. What we need to do now is get the length of the radius or an expression for the radius squared. You can, of course, find this doing the distance formula and then square it again. I just write out the radius squared. So the distance squared is the change in x, so it's going to be x1 minus x2, all squared, plus the change in y, which is y1 minus y2, all squared. We saw this in a previous video. So we can say that the radius squared is going to be 8 minus 2, all squared, plus 1 subtract 3, all squared. So we're going to have now that this is going to give me 6, 6 squared is 36, negative 2 squared is 4, and we can write this now as 40. That is the radius squared. It's not the radius, it's the radius squared. If you wanted the radius, the radius is going to be the square root of 40, which we could write in simplified third form as 2 root 10. So we can now write that the equation of a circle is x minus 8, all squared, plus y minus 1, all squared, is equal to 40. As stated, you don't have to draw this circle, but with, certainly with the harder examples, it will help you. Question 8. The points P, 2, 3 and Q, 6, 9 lie on the circle C. Given P, Q is a diameter of the circle, find an equation of the circle C. Again, if you want to sketch it, you can do. So what we're going to have then is our circle. And we will have now P, and I'll put that just here, that'll be 2, 3. So P is 2, 3. We've got another point which is going to be here, which is going to be Q, and that's going to be 6, 9. The diameter is a line that goes from the circumference to the circumference and passes through the centre. In a previous video, we looked at the midpoint. We can do this a couple of different ways we can write that the midpoint has the coordinates x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2, or we can simply look at this geometrically. I can see that I've gone from 2 to 6. That distance is 4, so I'm going to add half on, and that will give me 4. I can see that I've gone from 3 to 9. That's 6. So I'm going to add half of that on, and that is going to give me now 6. So that's for centre. Alternatively, I could have done 2 plus 6. That now is the, the sum of the x-coordinates, divided by 2. 3 plus 9, divided by 2. That's for y-coordinates, and that would give me 4, 6. If you can spot it now, then uh, geometrically, it will be a lot easier to do, or a lot less time-consuming. So all I need for the equation of a circle is a centre, which I've just found, and the length of a radius. So we can write that this is going to be x minus 4, all squared, 
plus y minus 6 all squared is equal to the radius squared. I'm going to find the radius squared. I could find the length of the diameter and then half that. That would be the radius and square it. The only advantage of me doing that is if I've got these values here wrong, then my radius will be wrong. This, of course, will be wrong, but at least if we were given, say, three or four marks in an exam, we would get the, the radius correct if we use the, the information given. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use a distance formula for the radius squared. So it'll be 4 minus 2, which we need to square, plus 6 minus 3, which we need to square. That's 2. 2 squared is 4. That's 3. 3 squared is 9. So the radius squared is 13. The radius itself is root 13. The radius squared is 13. x minus 4 all squared plus y minus 6 all squared is equal to 13. That now gives us the equation. So again, that's perfectly fine. Quick sketch, we need the centre of a circle and a radius. We can find the centre with the midpoint and find the radius with the distance formula. Question number nine. The circle with equation x squared minus 2x minus 4y plus y squared equals 48 crosses the x-axis at the points A and B. In part A, we're asked to find the area of a triangle ABC where C is the centre of the circle. This question is significantly harder. What I need is to find out where it crosses the x-axis and also the centre of a circle. We'll start with where it crosses the x-axis. It crosses the x-axis when y is equal to 0. So we'll have x squared minus 2x is equal to 48 or minus 48 is equal to 0. This is going to factor x minus 8 and then we're going to have x plus 6. That will be equal to 0. So x will be equal to negative 6 and 8. You could have done this bit later on. It's perfectly fine whichever stage you do it. OK, what I now need to do is find the centre of a circle. We looked at completing the square in the last video, and I can do the full thing of completing the square, or I can just consider the x and y coordinates of the centre. It will be half the coefficient of the x and half the coefficient of the y. I'll do it fully by completing the square, x minus 1, all squared, minus 1, plus y minus 2, all squared, minus 4, is equal to 48. So we can see from this that x, and just writing this out, x minus 1, all squared, plus y minus 2, all squared, is equal to 53. So this gives us a circle centre 1, 2, and although we don't need it, the radius is the square root of 53. So that's what we've got. OK, so let's go ahead now and just draw a sketch of this. You certainly don't have to, but it might help your understanding. So we're going to have now a centre, and we've got the points where it crosses the coordinate axis, the x-axis. Right, let's put that on and just move it. These don't have to be massively accurate. It's just going to give me some idea of what's going on. So if I put the centre on, this is going to be 1, 2. So just put that there. So that's going to be 1, 2. This is the point negative 6, 0. This is going to be the point 8, 0. I need the area of a triangle. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and put the base on. This is the base. And that's 8, subtract negative 6. And the height is going to be the y-coordinate, which is going to be 2. So if I drew this triangle, what we've got is something that looks a bit like this. So going ahead, we've got C, which is the centre just here, and we've got A and B here. So this length is 8 subtract negative 6, which is 14. Then we've got this height here, which is simply now the y-coordinate, and that's going to be 2. So the air of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. 14 times by 2 divided by 2, which is going to give us 14 units squared. So that's what we've got. So as you can see, a quick sketch really does help out and an understanding of basic geometry can really uh, work with a question like that. In part B, it says the circle crosses the y-axis at the point D and E. We're asked to find the length of the chord DE in the form P root Q, where Q is a prime number. So let's just put D here, okay, so D and E. DE is a chord, 
A chord is a straight line that passes through a circle like a diameter, but it doesn't go through the center. So let's consider it's going to cross the y-axis when x is equal to zero. So what we're going to have then is y squared minus 4y is equal to 48. That doesn't look like it's going to factor, so you can either use a quadratic equation or complete the square. I'm just going to complete the square. y minus 2 all squared minus 4 um, is going to be equal to 48, so that will be equal to 52. Taking the square root of both sides and adding 2, y is going to be equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 52. And then y is going to be equal to 2 plus or minus uh, 2 root 13. So you solve that quadratic equation how you wish. I've gone through it fairly quickly. I'm hoping that you'll be okay with it. 0, 2 plus 2 root 13 here. And this one will be 0, 2 subtract 2 root 13. These are on a straight line, so we don't need the distance formula. We're just going to do now 2 plus 2 root 13. Subtract from this 2 minus 2 root 13. The twos will cancel and that will give us 4 root 13. So the value of P is 4, the value of Q is 13. I've simply now considered this length right here on a straight line. We just need to consider the difference in the Y coordinates. So solve this quadratic how you wish. I've done it fairly quickly, but hopefully that gives you some idea on how to solve that problem. In question 10, we're told a circle has equation x minus 4 all squared plus y plus 3 all squared is equal to 20. We're asked to state whether the following points are inside, on the circle, or outside the circle. All I need to do is substitute these in. If it's equal to 20, it will be on the circle. If it's greater than 20, it will be outside the circle. And if it's less than 20, it will be inside the circle. So let's substitute these coordinates in. So what we'll have, 5 minus 4, all squared, plus now 1 plus 3, all squared. So that's going to be 1. What are we going to get on here? 5 minus 4 is going to be 1. And then here we're going to get a plus now uh, 4. So let's put that on. That's going to be plus 4. And we need to square that. That'll be 16. That's 17. Therefore, it's going to be inside so that one is inside the circle if we look at the next one if we sub this in we're going to have 0 minus 4 and we square it and then we're going to have now 7 uh, plus 3 and we need to square that so that's going to be 16 plus now 100 which is going to be 116 therefore outside so that one is outside what this is saying is the distance from this point right here to the center of the circle has now a, the, the distance is going to be the square root of 116. So quite clearly that is going to be longer than the square root of 20. Final one, let's have a look at this one. What we're going to have is the following 9. So we've got 9 minus the 4, which we need to square. And then we're going to have now a plus and then we've got negative 2 plus the 3, which we need to square. That's going to give 25. That's going to give 1. Therefore, that one is going to be 26. And it's going to be outside 2, as it's greater. So that's saying that the squared distance from this point to the centre is going to be now 26 units. Okay, if we think of um, now a point that will be on the circle... If we just consider now the point, let's go for 0, comma, negative 1. If we look at this, what we'll get, let's check that one. Uh, that will be 0 minus 4, which we need to square. And then we'll have plus negative 1 plus 3. Uh, let's, uh, negative 1, let's just check. That's gonna, that looks like it's going to work. So that's going to be 16 plus 4, which is equal to 20. Therefore, that point would be on the circumference of a circle because it now gives us a value of 20. So there we go, there are some basic questions using the equation of a circle. In the next few videos we're going to look at some more challenging ones when we need to use circle theorem. So if in doubt sketch it out and just remember 
all questions are not going to be of the same form. Just use the understanding that you've got and the range of skills and you should be able to tackle them.